Hello and welcome to another video from the channel of Health for Happiness. So today we are moving on to the intermediate section. So we're doing the first video for the intermediate and um, heat workout. Okay, so we're just going to start with some head rolls. And back the other way. Just some shoulders and arm circles. Get it right up there. And back the other way. And just do some torso twists. Okay, so just come onto the ground. Right, so we're on our hands and knees and you're just going to open your hips by um, doing a circle with your leg. Okay, so you're getting oxygen into your hips, you're getting the blood flowing in there. And back the other way. And switch sides so today we're looking at doing 40 seconds on and 20 seconds rest swap change the other side or the other direction okay it's the same layout just come up um, as the beginners okay just stretch forward and sit back and forward again and do that a couple of times so you have the five uh, exercises and we repeat that twice followed by circuit two another five exercises and do that twice as well okay swap legs so we're stepping it up a notch so we're doing a lot more um, active cardio work okay so more jumping more running like I said before when when you go past the beginners workout then you kind of cancel out most of the walking and the standing still that there is okay and up we come right grab a drink of water and we're going to start in 30 seconds I'm just going to get my timer ready. Jumping jacks. Okay, so in 10 seconds, start with jumping jacks. Go. So make sure that you're landing softly on your feet. Okay, you don't want to be going doom, doom, doom. Okay, for it couple of reasons you don't want to be putting any pressure on your knees okay so we're not looking to cause any injuries um, uh, within this exercise so make sure you're landing softly and also if you're in an apartment or something and you have neighbors you want to be annoying them with the thumping and rest okay good so we're now down on the ground for push-ups. So last time we had the push-ups, we did it from our knees. This time we're going doing full push-ups, so from our toes, okay? So let's go. Make sure you have a good line and that your it's not your knees coming down followed by your chest. Yeah, you're doing a good line chest to floor breathing out on the way up a 
if you get tired you can always go to your knees okay we'll start off start off at the harder one and then go to modifier okay because if you're in the modification you tend to stay in it but if you give you if it give it a go the advanced then you never know how much you could get okay so we're on to burpee thrusts okay so we go down kick out jump in and up breathing is very important when you're doing these cardio workouts circuit done so run squat jumps okay now last time we just did squat so this time bring in a jump on the way up okay now you can either jump land and go down or go straight from jumping down remember Back is straight, knees are over ankles, not toes. <sighs> breathing in, no breathing out, on the way up. Good, okay. Rest, All right. The last one, we're going back on the floor for bicycle crunches okay so last time we did the bicycle crunches and we had one knee up this time having both legs up and you're crossing over now your abs are what is keeping you up okay I should be able to just rest my head like this Okay, I'm feeling no pain in my neck or my shoulders or my face because it's my abs that are doing all the work. Okay, your abs are twisting your torso. It's not your shoulders. Your shoulders are moving, moving as a byproduct. Good. Okay, hold on. So, take 30 seconds rest before going back into a circuit to the second round of circuit one. So grab a sip. Now, remember only grab a sip. If you want to do any other um, water breaks, then make sure you pause it, take it, and then unpause it. Okay, so I'll go restart, but more than 30 seconds. So we're going back into the jumping jacks. Now, let's go. Remember, it's important to take these workouts and any other workouts at your own pace. Okay, so you do what suits your level and your ability um, and your strength, your fitness. Okay, listen to your body. If it's telling you no, then don't do the advanced, don't do the intermediate <coughs> version of the exercise. Go back and do the beginner's one and eventually your body will say, yes, I'm ready. Good, okay. So, see, we've already gone in your heart rate up more from doing this stepping out of the jumping jacks to straight away bring in some jumping. You could make it faster even still here on the floor then for push-ups okay. now you can do these as slow or as fast as you want 
so long as you maintain the correct um, procedure that you're doing it properly. Oh, I need to come to my knees. Okay, I'm going to come to my knees for three, and then I'm going to go back up. I'll just do one more. Okay, so you can do that as well. Take a break for a second by going to the modified version, and then come back up. Okay, burpee, thrust, and next. Okay. Remember to bring both feet out, both feet in and up. Okay, I add a little jump at the top. You don't need to, but I quite like it. And it's part of the full chest to floor burpees. So if you want to get a bit more of an advanced practice in before the advanced hit, workout then add that little drop or little jump little jump okay hold on two more left and then we'll have a bit longer of a break so we're going back into our squat jumps so I can already feel the difference between the beginners I'm a lot more out of breath than when we were at the beginners one. Okay, so remember, do you have the correct position for your squats? Really try to get both feet off the ground. Remember, your abs and your glutes I want to bring you up. Right. Okay, shake out the legs. Okay, we're going to give them a rest for a second by doing your bicycle crunches. I don't know how much of a rest that is, but at least you're not jumping. Okay, so both legs up. And swap. If you do struggle to keep both of your legs up, you can go back to the beginner's one and then try to go back to the intermediate one. Remember, you should feel your abs working because you're engaging them and it's not something that you do during the day usually and rest okay good well done excellent work I'm not only talking to myself here talking to you at home okay so we're going to do a sun salutation uh, to bring down our breathing to bring down our breath so we're going to breathe in arms up Breathe out, touch the floor, breathe in, flat back, breathe out, step back, step back. This time we're not going knees to floor, simply bringing yourself down and coming up. Your chest doesn't touch the floor. Okay, so into upward dog and then roll your toes under, down into downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. Knees to floor, sit back into child's pose, and then another couple of breaths. Good. Okay. So we're going to go again in 30 seconds, grab some water, towel off, okay, I need to towel off, grab 
and some latte. So, our next one, if you remember, we started the beginners hit workout with a boxing round, okay? So we're going to be doing that again because I'm working and I'm developing the first video and the next intermediate one will be developing the second beginners video that I did. Okay, so I'm going to go again in 10 seconds and what we're doing is you're going running and punching, okay? So let's go. Okay, running and punching. For some reason my legs go like this when I'm doing my boxing but you can always bring it in. Okay, remember, hit someone your own size, okay? If you remember that, you'll keep your arms up and it will keep going back to your chin. Okay, try to speed it up. So you learned the punches in the last run and now we're developing it and bringing in uh, more cardio. Okay, the next one. Right foot forward, left foot back. We're going to go jab. We're going to go across the chest like we did before. 90-90 punch. So we're going to jab, cross. We're going to one, two, three. Jab, cross. One, two, three. So the last time we just stepped the other way. But this time we're jumping. <coughs> Remember, when you're twisting the, for the second punch, then you're twisting your whole body, okay? Engage that whole body. Make a full body workout. And hands back up to the chin. Well done. Right, the, la the, the last one. I wish. Okay, the third one. So we're going fighting stance. Hands up to the chin. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Step in, kick, kick back. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Step in, kick, back. Again, two, three, four. Step in, and back. One, two, three, four. Step in. One, two, three, four. Okay, so look in the direction where you're kicking. So we're bringing in those um, jumps to keep up the cardio, keep up your heart rate. Okay, fourth one. If you remember, we did step, 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 punch, punch, punch. This time we're going running back, running forwards, running back, running forwards, down. Four punches and then a squat jump. So one, two, down, one, two, three, four. Squat jump. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Squat jump. Okay, bring it back. Down. One, two, three, four. Squat jump. And again. Down. One, two, three, four. Squat jump. Down. One, two, three, four. Squat jump. And keep going. And okay, great. So, last one, if you remember, we just did uppercuts. This time we're doing 10 jabs and crosses. So, one, two, then come into center, 10 uppercuts, and back again. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uppercuts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and go. Remember twisting your whole body, and I've lost count. 
think. So two more. And ten and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. And back again. Okay, so I've stayed on. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and good. Okay, great. Thirty seconds rest. Then we're going back into round two of circuit two. Okay, it goes so fast, so 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 fast. Can't believe that we've already done more than twenty-one minutes, including the um, warm-up. So in three. Two, one, go on, running, punching. Okay, running and punching. Okay, try to speed it up. Get that cardio up. Try to get your knees up, maybe. Need to bring it down, then bring it down to matching and punching. Okay, not just punching on the spot, actually move those legs. And rest. Okay, excellent. So, next one, we're going back to the jab across the body. One, two, three. Jab across the body. One, two, three. So, this time, we're going to speed it up, okay? Speed. One, two, one, two, three. If you can go as fast as I, I'm going. That's fine. Go at your own pace. But try to make that pace faster than your last one. back to that fire stance with the two kicks but this time you're going to turn so I had my right foot forward the last time so I'm going to have my left foot forward okay hands up to protect your face and one two three four step in kick kick remember you're looking the direction that you're kicking okay try to kick where the hips are, the lower part of your torso. I've lost what I'm doing now. But if you can't, then just go as high as you can. And you'll be able to build it up. Okay, next one. We're running back, forward, back, forward, down, one, two, three, four, squat jump. Okay, so down, one, two, three, four, squat jump. Okay, try to remember, keep your hands up to your chin. Down. And again. And down. One, two, three, four. Squat jump. I love these exercises. I could do these for hours, I think. And rest. Okay, excellent. So on to the last one now, last one of the entire workout. You did it, you're almost there. Let's all do this last one together, okay? So we're on. going to swap sides. Jab, cross, 10 of them, uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten, and done. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you were switching uh, in the last one, then um, make sure that you switch your legs, that you alternate them. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, whereas I didn't, I just stayed on the one leg the whole time. So I'm staying on the whole, on the same leg this time. Well done. Right, just do ten on book cuts. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two completely finish. Well done. Right, right. So we're gonna finish with a cool down. Just grab a quick sip. We're gonna go breathing in, breathe it out, hands touch the floor, step back, whoops, step back. And remember not going knees to floor, just bring your whole chest close to the floor and up into upward dog and curl your toes under and back into downward dog. Take a couple of breaths here. And just pedal the feet. Knees down, come into child's pose. Go back up into downward dog and walk your feet into up to your hands, and you're just going to hang there. Go side to side, forwards and back. If you're saying yes and no. Okay, and roll up slowly, vertebrae by vertebrae, head last. Okay, good. So we're going to stretch over to your right hand side, flat back down to touch your toe into the center touch your other toe flat back to the side okay now we're just gonna bring some arm circles we're gonna bring it across the chest And the other side. We'll just do some wrist circles. Okay, so we did a lot on the floor and the other side with the push ups and the burpees. And we're going to sit down and gonna, uh, let's go touch in your toes. Remember, if you can't touch your toes, just go as far as your back will bring you forward. Okay, we're just going to do one more hamstring stretch. So lie on your side, legs up flat, and you're going to bring your top leg up into a bed. Okay, so you could do this when you're standing as well. But if you don't have very good stability, then this is a good way to stretch your hamstrings and not uh, lose any stability. So you're being able to concentrate just on stretching. And the other side. I think boxing and cool, sound, cool downs I could do for hours. It's the other ones I struggle with. And other leg. Just get a really nice stretch in there. So you've done amazingly. Is that even a word? You should be really proud of yourselves if you've managed that. 
And if you've done the beginner one, and then have gone on to do this intermediate one, and if you found it a bit easier from doing the beginner one, um, but still, if you still find it challenging, which I hope you did, because if you did the beginner one, and you did it a couple of times, and you've aced that, and then you've come on to the intermediate one, and you do this a few more times, then you'll be so ready for the advanced one. Okay, if you can knock out all of these exercises, you are amazing. Okay, so just take a couple of breaths in, so breathe in, and push any negativity away. Breathe in, all that energy that you built up in that exercise, in that workout, and push out any carbon dioxide that's in your body. Breathe in, bring in all that oxygen, bring your hands to chest center, Make sure you check in with yourself, check in with how you're feeling. Check in with how were you at the beginning of the workout and how are you now at the end of the workout. And what do you want to take from this for the day or for tomorrow or the next day? If you are strong enough to do this, then you have great inner strength. So just hold there for a second. And Great. Thank you so much and I'll see you the next day for the second intermediate hit video of this program.